Welcome into the Eric Avisar Show, where I have to talk about the greatest college football game I have ever seen. The national championship last night between Clemson and Alabama was truly unforgettable. An instant classic and arguably the greatest national championship I've ever seen. It seemed like a 50-50 split afterwards on whether this game was the best or the 2006 Rose Bowl with Texas's historic comeback against USC. Either way, you can't go wrong, but my goodness, Clemson scoring the game-winning touchdown with one second left. Deshaun Watson to Hunter Renfro. The Tigers ran a play with six seconds left. I think if there were five seconds left in that situation, uh, they would have had to kick the field goal and force overtime. But yabba dabba do, Dabo Swinney. He took the risk like the adventurous man he is, and boy, did it pay off. I mean, an incredible way to cap off an incredible game. Deshaun Watson finishing with 420 yards, three passing touchdowns, and a rushing touchdown. You know, he tweeted last year if he gets the chance to play a national championship game again, he's going to go ham. Well, he was true to his word. I mean, the composure he had going up against what is arguably the greatest defense in college football history was absolutely top-notch. He may have played his way into the number one overall draft pick, in which case my condolences on becoming the next former quarterback of the Cleveland Browns. But at any rate, it is time for Deshaun Watson to enjoy his moment. The same thing can be said for the rest of the Clemson football team. Uh, For me, the player who I think will be uh, immortalized from this game will be Clemson wide receiver Mike Williams. He had not one, not two, but three unbelievable highlight reel catches. People went absolutely bananas with his leaping grab on uh, the second to last drive. And then on the winning drive, that one-handed grab, I mean, just unreal play, cementing his status, truly cementing his status as the number one wide receiver prospect in the 2017 NFL Draft. And, you know, uh, you just really can't say enough about the character Clemson showed. You know, people were saying, the kind of the narrative heading into this game, that the Tigers were the only team capable of beating Alabama, and in order to do so, they had to play the game of their lives. And that is exactly what Clemson did, uh, bringing pride to the ACC, cementing the ACC's place, in my opinion, as the number one conference in college football this past season. You look at the way they performed in the Bulls, uh, that certainly bolsters the argument. And Jalen Hurts, you know, you got to talk about Alabama's quarterback, uh, certainly going to be a Heisman front runner next year. Uh, he only went 13 of 31 for, I believe, about 131 yards. Did not get it done uh, throwing the ball. You know, just could not do enough through the air. But it really seemed like uh, he had it won for Bama when he ran for that incredible, just beautiful athleticism and vision and patience to pull off that 30-yard touchdown run with just over two minutes left, uh, putting Bama up three in crunch time. It was a back-and-forth game, you know, kind of contrasting with uh, Texas's uh, historic comeback in 2006. For me, this game was more thrilling because of the back-and-forth nature. I mean, that fourth quarter was the best quarter of football uh, ever seen. And, you know, now this is a coronation of something that did not feel uh, inevitable necessarily with Clemson winning a championship under Dabo Swinney, but certainly a strong possibility. You know, he's such a passionate man, such a likable guy. Dabo Swinney is one of the good guys in college football, and it was so refreshing to see him uh, take down the evil empire after all had seen lost, you know, uh, at least early on. Uh, Bo Scarborough, you know, two huge uh, early touchdown runs to consolidate the momentum he had after a breakout performance against Ohio State. Ultimately, not enough. You know, Skip Bayless tweeting that the game was over at 14 nothing. It ain't over till the fat lady sings, Skip. You should know that by now. You know, just can never really count out Clemson. And, you know, I think a major implication of this win is maybe Dabo can win recruiting battles over elite recruits. 
know, when he goes up against uh, Nick Saban, they're going to look at Nick Saban. You know, they know he's an accomplished coach, one of the best, if not the best, college football coach of all time. But Dabo, Yabba Dabba Do, the man who everybody loves, the king of dad dancing. You got to have love for Dabo. He's going to win more major battles on the recruiting trail. It'll be very interesting to see how this win changes the college football landscape. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody, and make sure you subscribe to my channel.